What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and once again you are going to learn something about me which you didn't before. I am an avid Street Fighter fan. Now I may not necessarily be competitive when it comes to the gameplay but I do love the series as a whole and all the games are a really big part of my childhood since I am a 90s kid growing up in that time period. So if you didn't hear the news already there is a Street Fighter 5 which has been announced earlier today. The reason why I put those quotation marks there is because it's not exactly understood whether it was officially announced or if the announcement was leaked but either way they both lead to the same conclusion in that there will be a Street Fighter 5 so let's take a look here at the trailer right away before I get into any details about myself and Street Fighter and anticipation for it let's see exactly I was listening to freaking Street Fighter um, 3 new generation themes I mean I think even though Third Strike is the game that has pretty much arguably the best soundtrack in the entire Street Fighter series. No, no, fuck that. We already know Street Fighter 3 Third Strike has the best soundtrack in all Street Fighter games. It's a fucking fact. But that's arguably one of the best soundtracks in any video game ever. Ever. But anyway, okay. We are back and we are shut down. Capcom has taken the video off of YouTube. So that means pretty much that Street Fighter 5 is an official thing. Capcom didn't want people to know about it yet. The game was leaked. I did a little bit more research and I found this Kotaku article which is going to inform us exactly of what the fuck is going on. So Street Fighter 5 is also going to be a PS4 and a PC exclusive it seems. Which, oh man, I'll, I'll get on that in a second. But Street Fighter 4 has apparently been announced as a PS4 and PC exclusive game in what's believed to be a teaser trailer for the game. NeoGaf user Unlucky Kate reports that a YouTube clip which has since been set to private revealed the new title. However, it's still unclear if the trailer appeared on Capcom's site or if it was leaked. While these supposed leaked cheat teasers say that Street Fighter V is an exclusive for PS4 and PC, it will be very surprising to see the game not get an arcade release, and since modern arcade games run on computer hardware, the PC inclusion certainly makes sense. Moreover, since the word exclusive increasingly means time exclusive, this could very well eventually appear on the Xbox One, just like the Xbox One exclusive Rise of Tomb Raider, which was a sequel that a lot of people were pissed off. But um, it's it was it was going to be only on Xbox, and but then they revealed it will come out for PS4 after the fact. Here you can watch the trailer, which has been mirrored by YouTube user NR Chris, but the video is gone. So this is official. Capcom has taken the trailer down. They don't want people to see it yet. So it was leaked, but it's true because they wouldn't be taking it down unless it had some kind of bearing on their future plans. So Street Fighter V is going to be a thing. And here are some gifts as well too from the trailer. Since the gifts do have reduced quality, I'm not going to trust what we're looking at right now as the final quality for the game because we didn't get a chance to see the trailer. Did you get a chance to see the trailer? I didn't. I probably should have done this video earlier, but then again, it probably would have gotten flagged and taken down for copyright. So um, yeah. And then we have this um, gift with Chun-Li. The graphics, even though they do look better, I suppose, I don't know, they kind of look the same as 4, except they don't have as much of the thick outline to the characters. It still looks good, though. I mean, it seems like the physics are definitely more present. If you see her, um, the bands for her pow pows, I think that's what you call them, pow pow, P-A-O, P-A-O, but yeah, you can see the bands for them kind of moving around more realistically. Here's some more screen caps from um, screen caps from the whole thing. Seems pretty cool so far. And then you have more gifts. Okay, so I mean, this Capcom. Oh wow! All right, so Kotaku really had a lot of gifts involved with this whole thing. You can see the whole thing in action. It does look good though. I'm definitely going to give it that merit. Like just looking at these animated gifts, you can already tell that the graphic processing is a lot stronger in this game than it is in Street Fighter 4. Things look a lot better. A lot more real well maybe not realistic but they definitely look more engaging the graphics Whew. all right so we're contacting Capcom for more confirmation we will update this post as soon as we hear back but um y'all y'all ain't gonna be able to update anything because you know um, pretty much the trailer is taken down and we are not going to put my channel in danger here but um, you can see some gifts from it as well too so these animated images are definitely going to show us they're definitely showing me a lot of where this game's base is coming from. So, Street Fighter V, it seems like the trailer that got taken down did not really showcase anything in terms of like story development or new characters, which Capcom is lucky because if this was leaked, then whoever leaked it probably has access to some other Capcom resources as well too. And just count your lucky stars that this motherfucker didn't leak a character. But I mean, there's definitely going to be some new characters in this game's iteration. The thing that I am the most 
anxious for. The thing I am the most anxious for, guys, you already know, is the fucking music. All right, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant here, a little mini rant here. Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, had probably the best soundtrack in all in all the 90s, I feel, because that soundtrack was just, it, it was fresh. It was it was so fresh, and then they go and make Street Fighter 4, where the sound isn't bad. I'm not shitting on the soundtrack of 4, but I'm just saying that it did not live up to that standard that Street Fighter um, 3, Third Strike set for itself. So, I feel like hopefully with 5, they'll bring it up to speed and use sounds that are way more engaging than 4's was, because I can only count on one hand how many tracks I really love from 4, but for Third Strike, all of them were amazing. and. My issue as well was the fact that not as many themes got remade for future iterations of 4. Like, you know, the music pretty much stayed the same from the first release of Street Fighter 4 up until the most common release, the most um, recent release that we have right now. So that's my main thing. But I, I, I feel like, you know, it's too early to judge anything like that. And I don't think Capcom would make a mistake like that. I'm sure that the soundtrack's gonna be banging, but now we are wondering about what, you know, what the characters uh, on roster is going to be like. My other main concern with Street Fighter 5 is, well, well, first off, I'm surprised that it's even happening because Capcom had made statements um, kind of leaning towards the fact that they were not going to do another Street Fighter game and that 4 was going to be the last one in the series. And here we do have a 5. So, and, and plus, we're also hearing reports that Capcom is, well, not broke, but, you know, on the market for purchase. So, you know, they don't have as many resources as they used to. The story with Capcom is a little bit of an odd one, but I am still glad to see them doing their thing and making another Street Fighter. It's really good news to see if this is going down, so I'm happy about it. But um, another concern that I have is the story. Some of you guys may not give a fuck about this too much because, you know, it's a fighting game. It's going to be competitive. Therefore, who really cares about the story mode? It's not really relevant in terms of the gameplay that people will be engaging in on a regular basis. But for me, it is because according to what I currently know, Street Fighter Third Strike is in the future and 4 is before Third Strike. But where will 5 take place? What will the story be? Will 5 be after 3? Since 3 was before 4? It's a little bit confusing to think about it like that. But um, I would definitely be anxious to see where the story takes place. Um, will Gil make a return? Will all the characters who did not get into 4 make a return in 5? I would love to see Mandu Yurian come through. Because, I mean, at the end of the day here, he was one of the best characters in 3. I mean, but then again, everyone has their favorites and whatnot. But still, what do you guys think of this announcement of Street Fighter 5? Well, not an announcement, but the leak of Street Fighter 5. Capcom's coming at the people who are showing the video on the channel, so I want to know what you guys have to think about this. Um, we didn't get to see the video, but if you do get a chance, then watch it on your own source. I'm not going to watch it on my channel due to the fact that, you know, copyright. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. And Capcom, if you do have a problem with me even making a video about this, then, then please message me. I'll take the video down right away. Don't, don't come after my asshole, man. Please don't rip my asshole in half, Capcom, alright? I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I ain't prepared for that. <laughs>